Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a gift guide for readers. This is a list of gifts that I think are perfect for the book lovers in your life or for you if you just want to buy yourself some presents. I did do one of these last year. I'll have that linked down below if you want even more ideas because I try to always make sure I have completely different gift ideas when I do these gift guides each year. And so last year's, there's tons of other unique options. When I do these, of course, bookmarks, gift cards, books themselves are fantastic gifts to give book lovers, but I'm looking to find something maybe a little more unique, especially because a lot of times it's hard to know what a book lover, what book they'll like or what they already have. First on the list would be perfect for fans of audiobooks, and that would be a Libro FM subscription. So if you've never heard of Libro FM, they're really similar to Audible. And if you've never heard of Audible, it's a subscription service for audiobooks. You pay a pretty reasonable amount of money to get an audiobook every month and then you can earn credits in case you don't use that one month and then you can use those credits in different months. And Libro FM, the thing that makes it so fantastic is that you can partner it with local used bookstores. So you're going through them instead and then the profits are helping your local stores. The next gift idea is one that I think is precious. I think it's so cute and it's a personal library kit. These are I think are perfect for somebody that has a big collection of books. You basically can make your personal library personalized. I think it's such a fantastic thing to do, especially for people who just really love their books and they like little stamps, those kinds of things that say like property of and whoever the person is. I think this is a perfect gift for people that like that. Next up, we have book themed attire. I was sent recently some shirts from the company Thread Tank, they have a whole motto where it's stories you can wear. And they don't just have book content, they also have other stuff that is also for different hobbies or for moms or things like that. They sent me this shirt, it says it's all good in the woods. It's so comfortable. I've gotten shirts from them in the past. They are the most comfortable t-shirts and their book t-shirt collection is so cute. I get asked quite often when I wear it. I have one that says books and then it has this definition where it says your best defense against unwanted conversation and it says see also headphones. It's just, it's great and I love that t-shirt. They come in different colors. They have all sorts of other bookish t-shirts as well. So many that I really want to go back. Kind of going to the library type of personalized kit. You can also, if you wanted to combine it, you could get the library kit as well as a t-shirt they have that's kind of like a used library card. So I highly recommend their t-shirts. They're seriously the comfiest shirts. The next option is one that I technically kind of mentioned last year, but I wanted to add on to it. And that would be special editions of books, anniversary editions, or book box exclusives. So that's the part that I'm kind of more focusing on here. I have discovered more book box exclusives this year because I didn't realize in the past that a lot of times they will have their own editions where you don't have to subscribe to their monthly subscription. You can actually go and get, they'll do the occasional special edition that will come out and you can just buy that one. That's what I ended up doing for this special edition of The Witcher, The Last Wish. They do this pretty frequently, but also a lot of times they have them saved where if they have leftovers, you can go back and buy them from their little troves, which is fantastic. Also, another tip for people that really want a book that they can't find anymore or is really expensive online, maybe check if the author has a Patreon. I know recently Lainey Taylor had some of her UK editions of the Strange the Dreamer duology on her Patreon, which was really cool. Those are really hard to get a hold of. So I would recommend that little tip if you want to try to find a certain edition you know somebody has been on the hunt for. Check local used bookstores. And one other tip I have for special editions is consider trying to find book swaps because if you by chance have a book that somebody is interested in, sometimes people will be willing to trade you for a book that they know it's worth a lot of money, it's really valuable, and they like it, but they don't love it, and so they might be willing to trade. That's how I've actually gotten some of my books. The next 
option is a book themed game or video game. So the easiest option is to see if they make any decks of cards. This is gonna be the least expensive. So sometimes you can find certain fandoms, they'll have decks of cards for if this person in your life also loves card games, but more specific, I highly recommend the Cosmere board games. The Mistborn House War is really fun. The Call to Adventure for Stormlight Archive is fun and Call to Adventure has also a Name of the Wind edition. I think a, a few others as well, but these are so much fun. I actually have a whole video on those specific board games, but those are definitely not the only board games and video games that are out for books on the topic of video games. There's definitely Lord of the Rings games, Game of Thrones games. So there's all sorts of games out there that are centered on books. Next up is something that I think if you are a book lover yourself, you already are aware of this thing. But if you're not and you're looking to buy a book lover a gift, a utility cart has definitely become a staple for bookworms. A lot of times they call them TBR carts. We call ours Mr. Tabur. They are so great for holding books. I don't know whose idea it was to first use these for books, but it's genius because it is the perfect size to hold a lot of books without taking up a lot of space. They're so cute too. And we got ours from the store Michaels, but you can find them all over the place. And they are the easiest piece of furniture I have ever assembled. And my husband and I are not so good at that. The next gift is very unique, but when I saw this, I thought it was really cute. It's called Otherwordly, and it's this book that has all of these words that most people are not aware of that are, you're not really able to translate them into other words. There aren't really synonyms for these. It's a word that describes something really specific. And I just think that's really fun. It's, I'll, I'll have an image on the screen where it shows examples. It sounds really fascinating. I kind of want my own copy. It's also quite inexpensive. The next gift option is a complete the story. This is really fun for people that not only love books, but just love to kind of use their imaginations in general. So my husband and I used one of these once when we were stuck at the airport. Our flight was delayed and so we pulled this out and basically it gives you a prompt and then you have to try to complete the story. But we had fun where one of us would write and then the next one would write and then the next one would write until the story was done and it didn't make any sense. And the goal was usually to be as ridiculous as possible. It was so much fun. I know it's not quite the same. It's maybe not as personal as some of the other ones, but this is great to do with a book lover. The next couple of gifts are fantastic for people that love to mark up their books. So I would highly recommend, I found these really pretty small tipped highlighters that come in a bunch of different colors and they're slightly drier than your typical highlighter. So they're really good for marking up books, especially if the person who marks books likes to have different colors for different things like, oh, these are some of my favorite quotes, or these are moments that I think are really stupid or something. They can have all these different colors. I know it's a really small specific thing, but it's the perfect stocking stuffer. Going along with that, you can also pair it with some magnetic tabs. I really like magnetic tabs because not only can you use them as bookmarks if you want, but also if you're reading outside and it's breezy, even just a little bit. Sometimes it can cause your pages while you're trying to read to flip, which is really obnoxious. So it's nice to just have this little, this little magnet. The next one would be the book lovers journal. This, I personally love using notebooks to write my thoughts down, especially if I'm going to be doing a book review or if I'm gonna be doing an in-depth chat or if I'm thinking through theories or things like that from certain fantasy books. But if you're looking for a more basic Literally, this is for writing down your thoughts, writing down your ratings, writing your thoughts on the characters, notable quotes, those sorts of things. The entire journal is designed for that. So it's very organized where you can have your specific thoughts. It's kind of like if Goodreads was in notebook form. The last gift I think is fantastic, especially because people can't really go out and about as often. So you can't go to coffee shops to read, you can't go to the library to read as much. Kind of, we're stuck at home at least a lot of us are. So I would highly recommend one of those lap readers. You can use this with your book. You can use this with an iPad if somebody likes to read with an iPad or a Kindle. You can also use it for work purposes, so that's nice. But there's a real fancy one I found that actually has 
a reading light attached to it. So if you want to splurge, spend a little more money, you can get that one. But they also have some basic ones. They're basically like comfy pillows that you can prop your book on top of. That's it for this year's gift guide. Like I said, I'll have last year's link down below if you'd like some other options. I will also have this t-shirt company link below because I love their t-shirts so much and they really do have some really cute options for book lovers. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll have links to basically everything I mentioned in the description bar down below. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Happy shopping and I'll see you guys later. Bye.